Not all exercise is suitable for everyone. To reduce the risk of injury, consult your doctor before participating in this or any other exercise program. If you feel any pain, discomfort, or dizziness, do not continue. The creators, producers, participants, and distributors of this program disclaim any liability or loss in connection with the exercise and instruction herein. Welcome to Power Yoga of Mind and Body. My name is Adrian Reed. Our theme for today is strength and stamina. So guys, go ahead, let's get started. We're gonna step on up to the front of your mats. Go ahead and bend your knees, grasp your elbows, and just fall forward. Use this as an opportunity to bring awareness to your breath. So long inhales and exhales in and out through your nose. Let your head feel nice and heavy, your neck feel nice and soft, and let your spine get nice and long. If you'd like, you can straighten up your legs here, get a little more out of your calves, your hamstrings, your hips, your lower back. And let's go two more breaths here, nice and relaxed, just calming your breath, clearing your mind. And after your second breath, if you've straightened up your legs, bend your knees slightly. On a long inhale, roll up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Let your head and chin come up last. To warm up today, we're gonna to do a little bit of work with sun salutation. So when you're ready, inhale, sweep up, get nice and long, heels to fingertips. And exhale, fall forward, hinge at the waist, forward fold, nose to knees if you can. Inhale, look up and lengthen through your spine. Exhale, walk or jump back to a plank position. And just lower down slowly, take your time, elbows by your ribcage, start warming up those arms. Once you get there, inhale, roll forward into a nice up dog. And let's go two more breaths here. Palms are flat, shoulder blades are back and down, rolling open through those shoulders. And then exhale, push up if you'd like to. You can do half a push up, you can skip your push up, float on back, down dog. Here we are in down dog. Your feet are hips width apart, your hands are shoulders width apart, your hips are nice and square, you're nice and long through your upper body. Let your head and neck relax. Let your breath be nice and calm. Looking good here, Diane. And let's go one more deep breath here. Inhale, go ahead and look up between your hands. Exhale, walk or jump your feet up in between. Inhale, look up and lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fall forward with arms like wings and a flat back. Come on up, take a nice arch back, upper only. And exhale, drop your hands too. Namaste, thumbs over your sternum. Let's do a little bit of work with the sun salutation B. When you're ready, sweep your arms up, drop your hips down. Let's go right into chair, Utkatasana. So we're lengthening sit bones to fingertips. Feet are nice and flat. Shoulder blades are back and down. One more deep breath there. Looking good, everybody. And exhale, straighten your legs, swan dive down, nose to knees, forward fold if you can. Inhale, look up and lengthen through your spine. Exhale, walk or jump back to a plank position. If you're feeling real good today, let's pick your right leg up as high as it'll go. And we're gonna lower down to the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go two breaths in chaturanga there. So working through your left leg. Inhale, roll forward into up dog. If you're feeling great, keep that leg up here. Exhale, push up if you'd like to and float on back. Down dog, right foot comes forward. Come on up into warrior one. And let's go a couple deep breaths there. Your front knee is over your front ankle. Your hips are square toward the front edge of your mat. Arms are long and strong. Shoulder blades are back and down. And exhale, go ahead and float your hands down to the mat. We're going back to plank. Left leg comes up as high as it'll go if you're feeling good. We're lowering down to five. One, two, three, four, five. Two breaths in chaturanga, so working through your right leg and shoulders. Inhale, roll forward, up dog. You can keep that leg up if you'd like. Exhale, push up if you can, and float on back, down dog. Left foot comes forward. Come on up into warrior one on the other side. Same thing here. Front knee over front ankle, hip square toward the front edge of your mat. 
arms long and strong, shoulder blades back and down. And exhale, let's sweep your hands down to the mat. We're going back to plank. We're going to lower down to the count of 10. If that's too much, go at your pace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Inhale, roll forward into up dog. Try and really open through your heart. Shoulder blades are back and down. Your front body's nice and open. And then exhale, push up if you'd like to. Float on back into down dog. We got five breaths there. Feel free to move in this pose. So if you'd like, you can inhale, rise up on your toes. Exhale, sink your heels down into the mat. You can rock your knees back and forth gently. So bend one knee and draw your other heel to the mat and swap it up. You can move head and neck. You can move arms. You do what feels good for you today. We're going one more breath. Looking good, Diane. Palms are flat there. And inhale, go ahead and look up between. Square your body off. Exhale, walk or jump your feet up. Inhale, look up and lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fall forward with arms like wings and a flat back. Come on up, drop your hips. Let's go five last breaths in chair. See if you can maybe sink just an inch lower than you did last time. Get a little more work through those quads, a little more length through your upper body. Beautiful. Exhale, straighten your legs, hands drop to namaste. Feel free to shake that out a little bit. From there, we're going to move to an airplane triangle series. So we're going to take a big step back with your left leg. So right leg forward, left leg back. In triangle, you should have heel to heel alignment. Your back foot should be at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, sweep your arms up. And as you may notice, Elaine's using a block. So if you'd like to use a block at home, feel free. Sweep your arms up, shoulder blades back and down. Bring your right hand as far forward as possible. You can grab your shin, your ankle, your foot. You can grab the block if you'd like. Look up at your left hand if you're feeling real good. Imagine there's a wall behind you, so you've got your hips square against that wall, your shoulders flat against that wall, and your hand extending up toward the ceiling. We're going two more deep breaths there, so try and find that sweet spot and sink right into that pose. Beautiful. After your second breath, inhale, let's sweep your torso up, we're gonna drop into a jet airplane or hips position we're going to call it. So hands are down by your hips. Your hips are nice and square. Your legs are nice and straight. You should be able to rest a plate on your lower back. So back is nice and strong. We're going one more deep breath there. Looking good, everybody. Try and keep up that strength if you can. Exhale, sweep your hands a little further forward than your shoulders. So we're going to call that shoulders. Back of your hands draw up toward the ceiling. You should be able to feel that stretch nicely through here. Exhale, extend your hands right by your ears, so arms sweep forward, nice and long, sit bones to fingertips. We're going two more breaths there. That's a beautifully intense stretch, working through the legs, working through the upper body. Bend your front knee if that's too much. Exhale, sweep your hands down to the mat, so just drop your hands down. Get a nice stretch across the back of that right leg. Make sure you're squaring through your hips here, so right hip is extending back, left hip is extending forward. Relax through your upper body. Beautiful. From there, we're going to go right back into that airplane series. So we're going to draw your torso up, hips height, hands drop down, waist. So you're going to be right down by your hips. Lengthen tailbone to the crown of your head. You should be nice and flat through the back. That looks beautiful, April. Nice and square through the hips. Extend, open up, shoulders. Fingers come a little further forward than your shoulders. Back of your hands come up so you get that nice work in your upper back. And exhale, draw your hands overhead, so arms right by your ears. We're gonna go two good breaths there. Beautiful, that's an excellent stretch, nice and intense. Good for strength, good for stamina. Let's float your left hand down to the mat, so we're gonna go revolve triangle. You can go to your shin, to your ankle, to your block as Elaine is doing. Float your right hand up toward the ceiling. If you need stability, look downward. If you feel real good, look up at those upper fingertips and see if you can challenge yourself a little bit with balance. We're going two more deep breaths there. Extend lower hand to upper fingertips. Extend tailbone to the crown of your head. And after your second breath, exhale. Bring your hands down to the mat. Let's just go one good breath there. We're going to sweep your hands to your waist. And on an inhale with a flat back, come on up. And go ahead and step right up to the front of your mat. Shake that out a little bit. Beautiful. Nice job, everybody. Same thing on the other side here. So let's take a big step back with your right leg. 
We're getting ready for triangle here. So heel to heel alignment, back foot at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, sweep your arms up if you're using a block, get that block ready. Inhale, extend your left hand as far forward as possible so you're stacking those hips. Hand drops to your shin, to your ankle, to your foot, to the floor, whatever you can reach. If you need stability, keep looking downward. Otherwise, look up at your upper fingertips. Imagine that wall is behind you. You should want your hips flat against that wall, your shoulder blades flat against that wall. Two more breaths there. Looking good, everybody. And after your second breath, let's sweep right back to that airplane position. So square through the hips, hands drop down by your hips. You got it. Nice and square through your hips, nice and flat through your back. So you should be able to rest a plate right on that back. Beautiful. Exhale, let's sweep open shoulders. Hands a little further forward than your shoulders. Back of your hands, draw upward. Looking good, Kerry. We're going one more deep breath there. Beautiful. Exhale, extend your hands forward so your arms are right by your ears. Beautiful. And exhale, drop your hands down to the mat. So both hands to the floor if you can get there. One hand on either side of your foot. Once again, this pose is about hips. So square through those hips. Left hip extends back, right hip extends forward. Nice and relaxed through the upper body. When you're ready, sweep your torso up halfway. We're going back to airplane. So hands down by your hips. Let's go two breaths there. We're gonna keep this flow moving. You guys are doing wonderfully at home. Exhale, open up, shoulders. So draw your hands forward, back of your hands draw up. Beautiful. One more breath there, you can do it. Exhale, arms come overhead, extend nice and long, sit bones to fingertips. Give me one more deep breath there, looking good. And now left hand, sorry, right hand drops down to the mat, so revolved triangle. You can bring it to your shin, to your ankle, to the floor, to the inside or the outside of your foot, depending on how you're feeling today. Make sure you're square through the hips. You're lengthening lower hand to upper fingertips. If you feel good, look up at your upper hand. Otherwise, keep looking down to add that stability for your balance. Exhale, go ahead and release that. Drop both hands down to the mat just for a breath. And then sweep your hands to your waist. Inhale with a flat back. Come on up. And then exhale, step on up to the front of your mat. Shake that out a little bit. Nice job. We're going to get a little bit intense with legs and hips. So we're going to take a big step back and get ready for raised runner's lunge. So big step back with your left leg. Your front knee should be over your front ankle. Your hands are on either side of your foot. You're going to start sinking your hips down into the mat and drawing your left leg nice and long. So your left heel extends toward the wall behind you. Lengthen also through your torso. So see if you can bring the top of your head forward. We're going two more breaths there. This is one of those poses that it's hard to see where you need to go. So if I'm looking at you, I can't tell are you working too hard or not hard enough. So go what feels good for you. So sink your hips down deeply. If you don't feel a stretch, if you feel too much of a stretch, pick up a little bit. We're gonna sweep both hands on the inside of your right foot and you're trying to drop down to your forearms. If you can, bring your face all the way down to the mat. If this isn't too, too intense for you, I want you to drop your left knee down to the mat. If not, keep that leg up, get a little bit more work through here. Beautiful. This is an intense pose as well, so utilize your breath. Full inhales, deep exhales to try and relax. We're going two more breaths here, everybody. Looking good. Carrie, fabulous. After your second breath, stay down low. You're gonna sweep your right shoulder underneath your right knee. If you feel good, draw your face down toward your foot. If you're feeling really good, open up Yajnasana. And if you're feeling excellent, reach around and bind Bada Yajnasana. Beautiful, try and keep those hips sinking down. Nice, calm face. Wonderful, everybody. We're going two more breaths. That knee's down if you're feeling too intense here. Looking good, exhale, go ahead and release. Drop your hands down to the mat. Everybody lower down to your left knee. Lay your left toes flat. We're gonna come back with your hips 
and straighten up your right leg. So we're extending back with your hips, straightening through your right leg, pop your right toes up, and just draw your chin towards your right big toe. So we're releasing the work that we just did through your hips. And while we're there, we may as well get a stretch through that right leg. Let's go three more deep breaths there, beautiful. So extending back with your hips, forward with your leg, flexing that foot to what feels good for you. That looks great, Diane. Exhale, go ahead and swing your hips forward. You're gonna draw your hips down toward the mat here. So once again, a lowered raised runner's lunge. Hands are gonna drop and interlace to your front knee. We're gonna straighten up your arms, look up, arch back. If you feel good, sweep your arms up and draw that overhead as well. We're gonna go two more deep breaths there. This is absolutely about the hips working, so make sure your hips continue to sink down. Exhale, sweep your hands down to the mat. We're gonna tuck your back toes under, straighten up your back leg, swing your right leg back to plank, lower down at your pace, lay down flat on your stomach, relax. That's a hard transition when you swing your leg back. You're gonna feel that a lot through the hips, so just relax here for a moment or two. You guys can scoot back on your mats if you need to, if you're too far forward. Wonderful. So just take this as an opportunity to relax. I'm sure you need a break after that series. That's a tough one. And let's keep moving. Same thing, other side. I know you're thinking, yay, we have another side. When you're ready, draw your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under. We're gonna go into raised runner's lunge with your left leg forward. So once again, here in this pose, your front knee is over your front ankle. You're starting to sink your hips down into the mat. You're lengthening through your right leg, so your right heel is drawing toward the wall behind you. And you're also lengthening through your torso, so draw the top of your head forward. Go to what feels good for you. You don't want to be too intense in this stretch, but nor do you not want to be feeling anything. So go right to where you feel sensation and hang there. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep both hands to the inside of your left foot. See if you can drop down to your forearms. If you can, get your face all the way down to the mat. If this is too intense for you, a reminder, drop that right knee down to the mat. So you're doing what feels good for you. This is very intense. It's a wonderful stretch through this area of your leg. Just relax in. Looking good, Elaine, looking good, April. Very nice, everybody. When you're ready, give me one more full inhale and another deep exhale. Sweep your left shoulder underneath your left knee. And if you feel good, you can draw your face down towards your foot. If you're feeling real good, I'm gonna hit your block there. Open up, Yajnasana, or reach around and bind, Bada Yajnasana. Wonderful, sorry about that, Carrie. I'm bumping your balance here. We're going two more breaths. Beautiful, everybody. Good for balance, good for strength, good for stamina. That's what this class is about. Exhale, sweep your hands down to the mat. You're gonna drop your right knee down if it's not down already. Lay your right toes flat. Come back with your hips, forward with your heel. So you're getting that nice intense stretch across the back of your left leg. Left toes pop up. Chin goes towards your left big toe if you're feeling really good. So releasing the work we just did with your hips and lengthening through the back of your left leg. When you're ready, sweep forward with your hips and hands. We're gonna fall again downward with your hips. So leave that knee down, sink down with your hips. Let's go two good breaths there. After your second breath, interlace your hands, drop them right on top of your left knee, straighten up your arms, look up, arch back. If you feel real good, sweep your arms up. Wonderful, looking good everybody, looking good. Everybody here is feeling good, we all have our arms swept up, that's great. Give me two more breaths there, fabulous. Keep those hips sinking downward, this is absolutely about working through the legs and hips. And then exhale, go ahead and float your hands down to the mat. We're gonna pop up on your back toes, straighten up your back leg, float right back to plank. Lower down at your pace. We're gonna lay down on your stomach, relax a breath or two. That's a tough series. Nice job, everybody. Good job if you hung through the whole time. 
Одной слово. All right, guys, we've done quite a bit with legs and hips. Let's move a little bit with arms. So we're going to do a little bit of work with Bashi Stas and a side plank. So when you're ready, float your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under. We're going to go right up into a plank position to start. So everybody come on up into plank. From there, I want you to roll to your right hand, right foot, and float right up into side plank. If this is too much for you, I want you to lower your right knee to the mat. Make sure your hips are not sagging. If you feel good, you can pick your upper foot up. You can drop your upper foot into tree, or you can hook your big toes and extend your upper foot up toward the ceiling. We're going five more breaths here. Lengthen lower hand to upper fingertips. Sorry, Carrie. Make sure your hips are not sagging. If that's too much, drop that knee. Beautiful. Exhale, float your hands down to the mat. We're going back to plank. Use calmness. You work through the arms when you're ready. Left hand, left leg. Right hand extends up toward the ceiling. Beautiful. Once again, you have a couple of choices for variations here. You can either pick up your upper leg, you can drop it to tree, or you can hook your big toe and drive your heel up toward the ceiling. Beautiful. Exhale. Let's drop right back to plank. We're going to lower down to the count of 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Lay down on your stomach. Relax a couple of breaths. Let your shoulders, let your arms, let everything just completely relax in this pose. Nice job, everybody. Those are tough poses. Let's go one more relaxing breath here. Get a little bit of ab work in. When you're ready, draw your arms forward. Let's drop hips to heels and relax extended childs for a breath or two. And just let your body fall into this. This, and again, just relax. Use these moments when we're not working too hard to just let everything fall and ease and relax. From there, when you're ready, we're gonna flip over onto your stomach. So you guys, you can sit up. I want your heads toward the back end of your mat. So we're gonna lay down flat on your back. You know what, let's hang out a breath or two there too. So hands are down by your sides. Wonderful, we're gonna do a little bit of work with kind of like a scissor movement with our legs. Some ab work here. So when you're ready, I want you to bend your knees with your feet flat on the mat and take a breath there. While you're here, I want you to tilt your pelvis a little bit forward, try and get your lower back flat on the mat and draw your navel in towards your spine. So you should have no space between the mat and your lower back. From there, we're gonna draw your legs up into a tabletop position. That's the way. So pick your feet up, legs should be in tabletop. From here, left heel extends up toward the ceiling. So straighten up your left leg, right leg straightens up and that heel should be about an inch or two off the mat. So both legs are straight. Inhale, hands are down by your sides. We're gonna draw your torso and your hands up and hover above. And then exhale, you're just lowering your head and neck down. See if you can keep hovered above. Inhale, come on up. We're gonna do eight more of those. Exhale, go ahead and lower down. Inhale, come on up, keep those legs nice and straight. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, extend up, pull in your navel. Exhale, lower down, keep that navel sucked in. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, lower down, keep those legs straight. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, lower down, and one more, you guys, you can do it. Inhale, come on up, and exhale, lower down. Go ahead and drop your right leg to the mat, drop both legs to the mat, shake that out a little bit, relax. We'll do this other side in a moment. Beautiful, when you're ready, bend your knees and hang out a breath there. Once again, use this as a moment to engage and fall to an imprint position. So draw your spine toward the mat, tilt your pelvis slightly, navel in towards your spine. Bring your legs up to a tabletop position. This time, right heel kicks up toward the ceiling, left leg extends forward. Both legs are straight. Try and keep that left heel an inch or two off the mat. Inhale, arms, shoulders, and head comes up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, draw everything up, pull your navel in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, everything comes up. 
Exhale, lower down, beautiful. Inhale, pull your navel in, come on up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, extend up, get nice and, and uh, taut through that stomach. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, draw everything up, engage. Exhale, lower down. Couple more guys, inhale, come on up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, lower down, last one. Inhale, extend up, straighten through your legs. Exhale, lower down. Drop your left heel to the mat, lay both legs down flat. Guess what guys, we're already ready for Shavasana. Nice job, strength and stamina today. The final pose of class is the most important in yoga, called Shavasana. This pose is what you've worked the entire class to achieve, an exploration of stillness in action. As you lay on your mat, allow your entire body to come to rest. Let your feet flop open. Bring your hands by your sides, palms upward. Close your eyes. Let your mind and body relax completely. The purpose of this time is to just be. Be still in your heart, still in your body, still in yourself. Try to remain in this pose for five to 10 minutes, finding health and harmony within. Thank you for your time and hard work today. Namaste. If you'd like to continue to improve your strength, stamina, flexibility, and balance, order Power Yoga for Athletes. This hour-long video is for yogis who embrace a more active lifestyle. Call 1-866-629-1591 or visit adrianreed.com. For tips and secrets on Power Yoga, visit WUSF.org and click on the Power Yoga icon. You'll find frequently asked questions and show information from Adrian Reed.